Okay, never mind. Well, we know how to get Squirrel Girl now. But we can't. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna get the Iron Man suit up here. I think it's Iron Man. And then we'll do main quest. I promise. Because I know we can do this pretty easily. Oh, he's got, he's got no mask, but this is Black Panther. Okay, apparently Juggernaut can't talk to him. The Roxxon Corporation plans to use this device to mine a Wakandan island for its precious vibranium. We cannot allow these scoundrels to ravage my home this way. Help me disable this contraption. I got you, buddy. Uh, what do we need to do? Is he talking about this? Um, I think we need Magneto for this. We need fucking Magneto for everything, I swear to God. I think, yeah, because it's blocking the Captain America thing. You know what? Fuck this. We're doing the main quest now because I think we that's the mission that we unlock Magneto. See, there's the future Foundation Reed Richards popped up. I think that's Ghost Rider related. Okay, so we're doing main quest. I don't know where it is. Whereas usually a, a red bubble pops up. Or we can just follow the ghost studs. That's also something we can do. Ghost studs. It's not popping up right now. <laughs> of course! I actually wanted to do the main quest and then it's not popping up. Hold on, maybe if I go to the main main street. Actually, I have an idea. We'll put down a a destination, and then we'll take it off. Does that reset it? I don't know. It's telling me to go over here. Fuck it. Following you, Deadpool. Lead me. Even though it's supposed to be Coulson that's supposed to lead me. It's whatever. Uh, I told it said cancel it. Whatever, I guess we can get this. Did I get it? Oh, I need Wolverine. Perfect. This is actually the perfect duo to get this. Awesome. Okay. I think the main quest is actually up here. Awesome. Everything worked out perfectly. Everything came up Millhouse. Here we go. Black Widow, you look funny. Uh, where's Wolverine? Okay, I'm ready. Main quest. Magneto, you son of a bitch. You piece of shit. The only one with magne magnetic powers. And you're needed for everything. Unfortunately, little intelligence exists concerning this mysterious island. For some reason, it doesn't appear on our map. Wait, are we going and to the asteroid? Good maps. Asteroid M? Lots of vegetation and some evidence of military structures, but that's about all. Maybe we're not going to asteroid M. I'm going to Statue of Liberty. Is this, um, the Savage Lands? Or they might be blasting off into space, I'm not sure. Statue of Liberty! This is definitely a Savage Lanes. It's gotta be. He's uh, gotta welcome the committee. Gonna have to be a touch and go landing, boys. Why land at all? It's more fun to jump! 
so I don't... The package has been delivered, Director Fury. Oh, I thought she was going to be part of our group. Oh my god, you know it would be cool if Kazar joined us. The guy that lives in, uh... The Savage Land. I don't even know if it's Savage Land, Whoa, though. I'm stuck! This is a very tropical place. Looks cool. Oh, who's that? Oh, that's just some dead guy. <laughs> Hold on. I'll find something to pop you free. Yeah, okay. Let's uh these things are glowing. <laughs> True believer already. That is awesome, I love the... Okay, looking for something that can help thing. Probably here. I don't know what this white arrow is. Oh, oh, I just had to switch to him. Maybe not, okay. It wasn't that easy. Oh, we can build something. It looks like it's a vacuum to suck up the sand. You good now, thing? There you go, buddy. You all right? Yeah. Uh, just don't tell John about this. Huh? Oh, acolytes. <laughs> Hold on, I'm trying to get this achievement where I uh, destroy a bunch of people as the thing. What are these white arrows? Hold on, I think it's the... Because um... I turned on this mini kit detector, I think that's it. Yeah, okay. I'll turn that off because we probably can't do them all, anyways. Oh, we probably need Cap. Come here, buddy. Actually, speaking of Cap, or Cap, I just kind of talked about it, but um, Captain America 3 trailer just came out. Well, it didn't just come out. It came out uh, sometime a couple weeks ago. But when I'm recording this, actually, a couple superhero topics we can discuss. Uh, a couple trailers just came out. First, I th yeah, first one was Captain America 3. And then the Superman, Batman one. And then X-Men Apocalypse. So I can just give my, uh, my thoughts on all of them. And which one I thought was the best and the worst. Uh, worst bar none, I think we can all agree, was probably the, um, Superman, Batman. Just because it gave way too much away. Why can't I switch? There we go. It gave too much away. Like, holy fucking shit. Why even watch the movie at this point when I know it's fucking Doomsday. You showed Doomsday in the fucking trailer. Like, why? Why not save something? Like, it's a trailer is supposed to get people excited. Who's excited when I pretty much watched the whole fucking movie in two minutes, you know? So, I thought, other than the Doomsday, tr like, um, I don't want to even say leak, but the reveal, um, I thought it was a solid trailer. It probably would have been my favorite just because I like Batman the most. Um, so much plant life. yeah, I'm biased. Someone I'll admit it. <laughs> But yeah, I uh, I would have probably liked that the most, but it revealed way too much. Um, but I'll, I'll talk more about it after, but I enjoyed the X-Men trailer a lot, because I enjoy X-Men. I think 
I think they have some of the best superhero movies ever. I mean, it's best and worst. You know, like, there's definitely things I think that they could have done better in some of these movies. Like, just introducing way too many characters and not being able to fully feature them all. That's one of my main concerns about pretty much all the fucking, um, uh, what's it called movies at this point? All the X-Men movies. Like, just so many characters and none of them get their moments to, um, really shine. So, especially this one, you're going to have Apocalypse, you're going to have Psylocke, Angel, um, Cyclops, Jean Grey, Nightcrawler, um, Quicksilver, and that's, well, Quicksilver's not new, but those were some of the new characters. And I know Wolverine's not going to be in it. At least he wasn't in the trailer, which is pretty exciting. Because, like, I like Wolverine, but he's just a way too much of a main focus in these movies. Like, my favorite thing about the X-Men is, like, I like them all. Not one more than the other. So, yeah, not a big fan of that. But he's probably going to show up after in something. I don't know. Um, so yeah, that trailer was fucking awesome. I don't know if I like the look of Apocalypse yet. On the wall, do we have something that would fit in that? It seems okay, his design. I mean, I didn't expect him to, um, directly look like he does in the comics, but... He looks alright. Angel looks interesting. Uh, who else? They didn't show much of Psylocke. Like, you didn't really get a good shot of her costume. Um... What else? But yeah, it looked it looked good. I enjoyed that. And then the Captain America three trailer, it looked it was probably the best. It got me the most excited. I'm gonna be honest. I love Batman, and I'm excited for Batman and Superman. Love X Men. Excited for Apocalypse. But Captain America three, you know, it was it was the best fucking trailer out of them all. Let's just be honest. Let me know in the comments section if you guys disagree, what you like, what you don't, what didn't you like about the trailers, which one was the best, which one was the worst. Um, but I think you gotta go with Cap 3. I think you gotta go. And I'm not a big Captain America fan, but you can't, you can't say it was bad. It was an amazing trailer. Uh, what else? Oh, and, uh, I guess I can talk a little bit more about each. But, uh, what else? I talked a little bit about the X-Men one. Batman, Superman... I don't know. The, the two things I didn't like... Actually, another thing I didn't like besides Doomsday was, uh... Wonder Woman. I don't know. I think they should have saved that for the movie. Like, um... Movie's supposed to be Batman vs. Superman. But then, Wonder Woman's supposed to be in it. Are those giant well, she's eggs? definitely in it. And then, um, Aquaman's supposed to be in it. Those are dinosaurs, what the fuck? Someone brought the dinosaurs back? Okay, we're definitely in the, the Savage, Savage Land. Land, yeah. Why would they be here? Oh, they're from the, we're not in the Savage Land. They're from the Savage Land, okay. So yeah, you got Aquaman supposed to be appearing. Um, you got Wonder Woman. Well, first off, this is just a sequel to Superman. So one, you got the addition of Batman. And you have to introduce that he's grizzled and, you know, experienced. Then you gotta introduce Wonder Woman. Then you gotta introduce Aquaman, who's supposed to be in it. He's not confirmed yet, but he's supposed to make an appearance. And then, I'm hearing that Flash is supposed to make an appearance, too, in that movie. I don't know if that's true. I haven't heard too many things about that, but I've heard he's supposed to. Um, Aquaman, I think, is a for sure supposed to be in it. Um, uh, what's it called? Flash? I don't... I'm not too sure. But, um... What else? There's another thing I wanted to mention. Oh, I just read an article today that, uh... Apparently, someone from Warner Brothers Studio was like... Yeah, we showed Doomsday, but he's not even, like, the biggest surprise in the movie. We've got another big surprise. So it's like, why are you ruining one y your surprise of Doomsday is already out there, and then you fucking try and one-up it by saying, you know what, he's not the main baddie of the movie, there's someone else bigger and badder. 
Now I don't. It could be Lex Luthor, or they could be fella. looting to maybe a Brainiac or a Dark Side for the Justice League movie. I don't know. We're gonna have to this wait to see, but extra muscle power. yeah, too much. Just way too much was revealed in those trailers. What else? I think that's about it. Well, I could use this superhero right now. I think I covered all the points I wanted to cover. Talked about all the stupid things in the trailers. Well, I could use a superhero yeah, right now. Come and stand. This is your fault. Boy, I could use a superhero right now. Well, Boy, I could use a okay. superhero right now. Okay, I'm getting old. Can I not go? Help. Like, I can't put out... Hold on. Help. I don't think we can... Uh, let's see, now... Maybe I need to bring, like, Iceman here or something and put out the flame, because I don't think I can do it with Cap Shield. And then another trailer that was released that's not really superhero-related, but kind of. It's sci-fi, and that's what superheroes are. Um, Independence Day 2. That... I don't know. That movie. Oh my god, what the fuck? That movie looks good, but like, yo, know, you gotta have Will Smith in it. They do have some black guy, but it's not Will Smith, so it's like, who cares? But yeah, that trailer looks awesome as well. A lot of good superhero stuff happening. I'm, I'm happy to see it all. Next year's gonna be huge. Batman vs Superman, Captain America 3. X-Men, and, uh, there should be another Marvel movie. Yeah, I, I don't know what's really one. built for swimming, Ken. Because usually they do the two a year. Fast, even for me. Let's throw away across. Usually they do two a year, and I don't know what the, uh, what the second one's going to be. Captain America 3. I don't think it's Thor 3, I don't think it's Guardians 2. I've got no idea, I've got to do my research on that. I don't know what other Marvel movies coming out next year. But yeah, there, there's going to be like four, maybe even five. Because you got the three that I mentioned, plus one that I'm not thinking of right now. So it's gonna be a fucking great year for 2016. God, I'm getting excited just thinking about it. Shit. As a superhero, this is, I waited as a kid to fucking see the day when I, all the superheroes that I love to read about and shit, and my favorite stories, to see them in the on the big screen, Oh, that's awesome. And then you got uh, Star Wars coming out. Actually, I think it comes out this week. I don't really care about that. <laughs> say all that to just say, I don't care about Star Wars. <laughs> I don't know. I, I enjoy the Star Wars movies, but... I'm not jumping for joy to watch the new one, you know? I'll watch it eventually. But I'm not going to rush to theaters to watch it. Oh, no, I fell. God, I can't wait to fucking get Magneto. I hope we finally... No, I don't even think we're going to get him yet because... We got to, um... What's it called? We're go the What's it called? Um, Wolverine, Hulk, and uh, Cap, Mr. Fantastic, they're all in in space on Asteroid M, I believe. 
So I don't even think we're we're gonna have to wait like one more level to get Magneto. Unless this, uh, I don't know. Unless this is just one ah, big level. You've arrived just in time to see me and my island rise. He's quite the showman, and he's got a flying island. Is this some sort of Hydra trick? Like I know. Just hang on. Good slide. Is there going to be a Mama T-Rex? Oh, is that Storm? Yes, it is. Captain America, Thing, Charles Xavier sends his regards. Storm, hey, the weather goddess ain't such a bad trade-up, especially for Johnny. It's true. Hey, come back, you Freddy cat! <laughs> 